Hi, today we are going to learn about figuring out a budget without sales tax. Let's look at a problem. Solve. You are told to go to the store to get 10 hot dogs at $5.49 each. How much money do you expect to spend? Now, price of one hot dog is given here. Which is $5.49. What is the price of 10 hot dogs? We will multiply price of 1 hot dog with 10 in order to get the price of 10 hot dogs. So price of 10 hot dogs will equal 10 times 5.49. That's $54.90. That is $54.90 which is the answer in the D part. You can highlight it. Next problem. Solve. Peter takes part in a walk a -thon. Mr. Jones donates $78.50 plus $3.90 for each mile Peter walks. If Peter walks 21 miles, how much will Mr. Jones owe? Now, this is the fixed amount Mr. Jones is donating, and this is the variable amount for each mile. And Peter is walking 21 miles. So let's calculate how much Mr. Jones owe. Mr. Jones owe money equal to base amount that 78.50 plus 3.90 for each mile and miles Peter walks is 21. So 3.90 times 21. That's seventy eight point five zero plus eighty one point nine zero, which is equal to hundred and sixty point four zero dollars. That's one sixty dollars and forty cents. It's the answer in the C part. Next problem. Solve. Tanya earns some extra money by mowing lawns. Tanya charges hundred and thirty five point sixty dollars as a base cost plus $3.60 for each hour Tanya works. If Tanya works for 19 hours, how much will Tanya earn? Again, there is a fixed base amount. So we can just consider earnings of Tanya. $135.60 plus 3.60 times 19 for 19 hours she is working now 3.60 times 19 is 68.40 so this is 135.60 plus 68.40 which is equal to 204 dollars which is the answer in B part you can highlight it Next problem. Solve. Nate takes part in a walkathon. Mr. Rodrich donates $52.50 plus $1.70 for each mile Nate walks. If Nate walks 5 miles, how much will Mr. Rodrich owe? Let's see. Let's calculate. Money owed by Mr. Rodrich. is equal to 52.50 plus 1.70 times 5 since Nate is walking 5 miles. That's 52.50 plus 8.50 which is equal to 61 dollars. Which is the answer in the C part. You can highlight it. I hope you can practice more problems on figuring out a budget now without using sales tax. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.